What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is Tuesday, which means one thing, Overwatch. So uh, last Tuesday I actually watched um, Retribution and Storm Rising, which were both very good. And in the end of Storm Rising, it tied up nicely or set things up nicely for a particular character. And that character is Doomfist. So that is who I'm going to be covering in this video. I'm going to watch his origin story. Then I'm going to move on to his gameplay trailer. I'm going to watch and react to that. And then I'm going to finally react to and read through a interactive comic. I believe the comic is called uh, Masquerade, I think. So that's the three parts of this video. Video that I will be doing. I will timestamp all three, as I always do. And yeah, um, let's get into it. Eight eight five oh three. Let's go. Humanity has always been tested. Ooh. Conflict and war is the crucible through which we evolve. Wow. Every battle makes us stronger. Wow. Angry. Those who fall will be forgotten. Those who rise up, their names will be remembered forever. Whew. Wow. Wow, that was good. That was good really good okay so first thing i'll say is i really like the animation the animation this one's different to anything i've seen in previous overwatch videos i really do like that one as well especially for a short video like this which is two minutes long secondly he is definitely doomfist definitely he is literally doomfist and i love how it showed that he obviously lost that fight because he was put in prison i love how it shows that he is literally Doomfist. He doesn't need the actual gauntlet, which I remember was obviously held in the opening cinematic for Overwatch, the first one I ever watched. That was in that museum, and Reaper and uh, Widowmaker were there to try and take it back. But he doesn't need that. So he's in prison, and he's punching the wall. I like how it shows that when he punches the wall, it flashes to the events that put him in that put him there in the first place. I like that. So he punches the wall, it flashes to the fight he has with Tracer, Winston, and Genji. And then there's a little bit more talking about it, and then he punches the wall again, and it flashes back to that scene again. I like how it does that, how it, how it shows the contrast between present day and past. But yeah, the point I'm trying to make is he is literally Doomfist. He doesn't need the gauntlet. Because when he punches the wall, he's still making holes in it. And he punches it so many times, he actually breaks through it. That is impressive. So, I wonder what he would be like with the actual gauntlet on. Wow. Um, so, yeah, that's good. That was really good. It tied in nicely, actually, with the um, previous video I watched, which was Storm Rising. Obviously, he was in that one. And he was speaking to a character that I'm still not quite sure who it is. Initially, I thought it was Reaper, but I don't think it's Reaper now. I think it's someone else that I'm still to discover. So, what we'll do now is I'm going to go into his gameplay trailer now. I'm going to watch and I'm going to react to that. So, let's go. History is written by the victors. Hmm. That fist. <laughs> you know my name. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm going in. Get ready. Don't get back up. Uh, Down for the count. 
Meteor Strike! Didn't have enough. <laughs> Here they come! <laughs> it is good to be back. Wow. Okay. Wow. That was I think that's the end of it. That was absolutely crazy. So, um, like I said in the origin story before, his punch was crazy before he had the gauntlet on. He was punching through walls. He punched out of prison without the gauntlet. So with the gauntlet on, he's going to do some serious, some serious damage. And then to add to that, the actual, the gauntlet has rockets on it as well. Like some out of um, Pacific Rim. So just to add even more insult to injury, the guy can punch hard. He's got this gauntlet on that powers up his punch. And the gauntlet's got rockets on it as well. Wow. So <laughs> let me go back, watch that one more time, see what I could pick out. Because there was some special stuff in that. History is written by the victors. Hmm. Superhero London. You know my name. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? That is crazy. And then to end it, he says, you know my name. Well, I'm going in. Get ready. Don't get back up. Down for the count. That's in the McCree, innit? McCree is high. No one he was going to say. No, it's not. Meteor Strike! Wow. So I presume that's his special, that Meteor Strike. Let me see that again. Don't get back up. Down for the count. Meteor Strike! That's the man. have enough. <laughs> <laughs> it is good to be back. Wow, wow, what an amazing character. And that last scene there where basically knocks Winston off the cliff. It's like a rocket though, isn't it? He actually uses his his fist as the rocket propulsion. So he seems like a very fast and versatile character as well. Wow. Whew, that was really good. So, um, off the back of that, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into the, into the um, interactive comic, which is called Masquerade, I think it's called. So, um, yeah, let's get into that. Right, let's go. That's so cool, isn't it? Okay, let's go. So that's obviously the events from the origin story. Hmm. Reaper, you're late. Huh. I was delayed. <laughs> Let's get going. Tell me about the Russian mission. Ooh, okay. What Russian mission? Ah, right from um, infiltration. We were supposed to kill Katya Volskaya. We failed. Whose idea was it anyways? Vitaly. Soon we're getting frustrated with how intractable she's proving to be. Mm. That's why she has value to us. She'll keep the fight going. Volskaya is more useful alive. Always has been. Thought so yeah. Sombra would agree with you. She's been up to some extracurricular activities. She thinks she's clever, but I'd be, be keeping tabs on her. Ooh. I knew it. I knew it. I don't mind a little ambition in my people. I saw that s someone killed 
Montana, Montata, yeah, in recall, um, in uh, Alive. Tensions in London are boiling over. Hasn't been this bad since after the uprising. Hmm. That was a missed opportunity. But who would have thought Overwatch would get involved? Speaking of which, I retrieved part of the Overwatch database, which was from Recall. I've already taken a few names off the list. Ooh, okay. Morrison and Am Amari. I hope you're not feeling sentimental. No, not yet. No, because obviously he has ties to these two, don't he? Because he was previously um, Gabriel Reyes. We can deal with all that later. First, I want to speak with Maximilian. Need a loan? I need <laughs> I need to get the lay of the land. So Maximilian was the guy in the he was the villain in Storm Rising, wasn't he as well? And so, yeah, and some new clothes. Probably the best guy to go and speak to actually. Hmm. Okay, Monaco. Monaco. Swagged out. I was impressed by your performance in London. Talent could use more operatives like you, especially given recent lapses. You know you're on the open channel. Right, on clue. Okay, that's Widowmaker looking fine, and that is Doomfist. Ask her about St. Petersburg. Share, share my commentary. Just letting me know if anything, just let me know if anything seems out of the ordinary. So I think that's going to be Sombra, I think. You're making me think you don't trust him. I don't trust anyone. Hmm. Maximilian. Hey, good lad. Akande. That, that must be his name then. Akande. Okay. How's the lady? How's the lady look treating you tonight? You know, there's no such thing as luck. Otherwise, they might actually let us play the games. Hmm. You're looking well. You sound surprised. Prison is a hard place. Accidents happen all the time. I'm very careful, apparently. Something in French, and obviously she said, she said mercy. And yet, plans have progressed even while you've been out of contact. War between Omnix and humans seems all but inevitable. Mm. Thanks in no small part to your friend here. <laughs> Compliments. Something else in French. Tauli place es pour moi. I wish I could speak French. Except There are those in our organisation who will be quite pleased to have you back. But some have concerns about whether you will keep the money flowing. <laughs> I will deal with them. They need to be rem reminded about their parts. <laughs> okay. I wonder, my friend, you're not as popular as you used to be. Many were happy to see you go away. <laughs> okay. Not you, of course. Of course not. We have history and I respect a man with vision. Heads up, boss. Company headed our way. Unzi. Then who are they? Then who are they? As I said, many were happy to see you go away. <laughs> right, this guy Doomfist. So, they ain't gonna... Oh, it's... Alright, oh, it's going. Okay. Time to go on the rocks. It's bad luck to leave the table when you're shooting. Hmm. Wow. Watch my chips. Ha! <laughs> Just throw the chips behind her. <sighs> Feel sorry for this guy. Feel sorry for him. Hmm. Mm. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's tough. That's tough. Vitaly's men, so it would seem. So who's Vitaly? Vitaly. Mm. Take care of this mess, Max. I'll see you in Venice. 
So we move to Venice. This is good. I'm liking this. This is good. A little bit of Assassin's Creed vibe going on there. Okay. Um, that's no doubt Widowmaker. Target neutralized. Sombra. <laughs> Something in Italian. So that's Reaper. That's a cool outfit for Reaper. That's mad. I like that. Target's neutralized. Yeah, that looks that looks bad. Akande. What a surprise to see you here. I've been hearing that a lot lately. It has never been anything personal between us, you know. So this is gonna be Vasily. Our disagreement is purely on the course we are to take, the profits we stand to lose. Things have changed since you've been away. I'm sure you will see that the path I have charted for our organization is for the best. Uh, nope. Profit is not our concern. You know better. We aren't criminals satisfied by wealth and power. We know better. There is no we. Talent is going in a different direction. Ooh, okay. It is. Ooh, now. Yeah. But you will be coming along. I mean, like, how dumb do these people think they are? Like, let's talk to Doomfist. Let's disagree with Doomfist. Let's send our boys to try and beat him up. And then we go and meet him on a bridge. Yeah. Who was that? No one you should worry about. Huh. The rest are all taken care of. Good. Let's go. Yeah. The round table here. Hey. We have a war to start. Woo. Good. Good. Okay. That was a really good. I really actually enjoyed that interactive comic. So it nicely ties in, obviously, with the events from the uh, origin story. It shows right at the beginning, doing it, the first few scenes, it shows him breaking out of prison. And then, obviously, now he's trying to find his feet now. He teams up, obviously, with the rest of the guys, uh, Reaper and Sombra and um, Widowmaker. And he's obviously trying to find his feet now, find out what's gone on since he's been in prison. Clearly, some guys have tried to go behind his back and tip talent in a different direction. Uh, which didn't work, especially that now now he's out. He's basically killed everyone and taken back obviously over the reins of being the boss. So it's cool to see obviously that he's now like the leader, the boss of Talon. And I can see why. After watching his gameplay trailer, you can see obviously why he's someone that you don't want to be um, fighting one on one. Let's just put it that way. So yeah, this was kind of my, my Overwatch review in terms of Doomfist. I've gone through his origin story, his comic, and also the gameplay trailer as well. So hopefully you enjoyed my video. And if you did, feel free to let me know. Feel free to comment, like, and maybe if you haven't already, subscribe for more content like this. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.